Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. <laughs> there he goes for his bone. He's got to make some noise. Uh, he says, I told you I wanted attention first, Dad. Well, he was laying up here. I, I had my arm on him. So I was just trying to get the phone going. Uh... Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. Uh, hey, Charlie, why don't you get up there with Dad? Tell him to subscribe. Come on, Charlie, you can do it. Get up there. Say, get up here. subscribe. Oh, tail, in the, tail in the camera, tail in Come the on, camera. Come on, no, we need your cute face in the camera. Oh. We need your cute face in the camera. Say subscribe. Okay. So... Okay, let's let's uh, try to continue this. Um, we of course have uh, peeping chicks in the background and guineas making lots of noise. Well, I was including the guineas in the with the chicks. And so, they're peeps, not chicks. Well, close enough to the same thing. They're little baby <laughs> poultry. <laughs> He's going to go after that bone again. Yes, he has Come to here, make. Charlie. Has to make some noise while I'm on the video. It's okay. It's his contribution to our video. Just like the the poultry up there is contributing to. We we just changed out their cage um, and uh, gave them fresh food and water, and so they're going nutso over the uh, the food. Um, this is late because we uh, took a trip down to Indianapolis because <sighs> she had to go and get a plumera. Yeah, turn the camera a little bit so we, they can see. Which is the plumera. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to turn the plant a little bit. There we go. The plumera is in bloom, of course, which is why she has to show off the plant. Yes, I and do. Smack me in the face with it. Um, did it kill you? Maybe. If it didn't kill you, it made you stronger. Uh, I don't think so. I do. And it didn't kill me yet, but it might still kill me. So, but uh, yeah, I I had to work today. Got home from work, and we headed down to Indianapolis. So. Uh, we of course went to, we, we went and picked up the plant and then we went over to Fashion Mall and uh, we stopped into the Apple store to have them take a look at Sherry's phone. Uh, there is nothing wrong with the phone, nothing wrong with the hardware. Um, she's a little bit behind on her updates, but the software issue... Well, one Well, my phone's already updated to it, so, um, and I think you're actually two behind because it's, you're on 15.2 and it's 15.4, so I think you missed two updates, but I don't think either one of those are going to have any effect on the problem she's having with her phone. Um, we think maybe it is Verizon, that it's the, the, um, wireless network um, that's causing the issue but I don't know I don't know that that's actually what's causing this we'll see um, but uh, we also went to um, Pottery, Barn. Pottery Barn and William Sonoma looking for Peter Rabbit plates um, dinner plates dinner plates because we found two dinner plates of, of Peter Rabbit at TJ Maxx, but we haven't found any more of them yet from TJ Maxx. And so we were checking other places to see if they had them, and they're selling out real fast. So, um, but, I mean, it just... And then we stopped in Noblesville and had some dinner before coming home. Um... 
Ugh. But it's been a long day. And then we came home, and this was in the mailbox. Oh. It's the premiere issue in her garden. That's what it looks like. Can't really see it, can we? Okay, that's okay. Anyway, so I'm excited to dive into it. So she has a new magazine. Okay. It's a brand new magazine. I, I, First I, issue. I heard. I yeah. heard that. So. Exciting. But, yeah, uh, I'm already seeing some really cool things in it. Too. Okay. Oh, but it's just, it's been a long day. Um, you know, the, the cells at work were done by lunchtime, basically. Um, but because I was working on Monday's stuff, um, I was there a little over seven hours today. Um, I went to the beef boutique this morning. Yeah. And she was completely sold out of beef other than the last five packs that I got and two packs that the person that went with me got. Yeah. That was all that was left in the great big freezer. So about seven different, seven packs of, of meat. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, basically wiped her out of, of what they already had. Um, she does have more coming uh, in the beginning of April, but for now she's sold out and uh, so. <laughs> but we were at Meyer last night yeah. and three pounds of hamburger was a little over $20. And I said, there is no way, yeah. no way. That was conventional hamburger. Yeah, not organic, conventional. Yeah. Um, so y'all know what's coming. And I heard a rumor. This is only a rumor, not fact. But I heard that we could well expect gas prices to hit the $10 a gallon mark by late spring, early summer. Yeah. Now, I certainly hope that that's not the case. Yeah. Because it's going to make it rough on everyone. Yeah. Um, it's but be... it's hard to tell. Yeah. If, if we actually hit those, those numbers, it's going to be real hard on everybody. Yeah. So, but uh, hopefully that's just a, you know, worst case scenario. Um, but hopefully, with Michigan call, wanting President Biden to shut executive down. order shut down the pipeline. Yeah. And them saying that's not only going to raise gas prices, but that's going to cut 55% of the production here in the Midwest of propane. That's a problem. Yeah. And China's buying up all of the gas from Russia that the U.S. isn't buying right now. So does that tell you something else? We're in trouble here, folks. If you have not stopped up, if you're not ahead of this game, it's going to get real hard. Wow. And it's not too late. It's not too late. The freeze-dried food on Amazon, uh, the... Is it... a Augustian Farms, or however you say it. Uh, I don't it know. It was 41% off tonight. Okay. So, $20 for a number 10 pantry can. And that is a fantastic deal. Fantastic. Okay. So, if you guys aren't stocked up, I suggest that you take that extra money you have and you get yourself ahead of the game. If you have any. Yeah, if you have any. And if you don't have any, I suggest you have a garage sale or do something to get some extra money to get ahead of this game. You, yep. you really don't want to be that person that has no food. Well, anyways, I think that's going to do, do it for tonight. Oh, once again, yes, yeah, once again, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we'll see everybody tomorrow.
stay safe out there.